In this video, we will be reviewing the accounts payable processes in Dynamics NAV 2016. And I am actually logged into the accounts payable coordinator role center. At this point, I want to know what I need to pay, what's due for me to pay right now. And one thing that you can do is look at, in your activity center, uh, purchase invoices due today. And so it's going to look at the due date and it's going to look at everything that's due today and prior. And today is September 10th, 2017. And you can see everything that I have sitting here is past due and I can tell that because it's red. So NAV makes it really easy to see those things that I need to pay attention to. I'm just going to escape back to my role center here. Let's, let's look at a, an aging report. So that'll show me all the details of all of the invoice, past due invoices that are sitting out in my accounts payable. Now notice I've chosen to print in detail and I can filter um, based on vendor um, or any other field in the vendor record if I want to. But I'm just gonna pick an aging by due date and 30 days aging periods and I'm gonna do a preview. So here's my detail aging report and I can see uh, for each vendor all of the invoices that are due and the age of each of those invoices. I'm just gonna come up here to the find field and type office so that we can find the office supply company. And you can see now here's the $300 invoice that we just did. So there are a number of invoices that are current and then there are $1,350 that are past due. And so I want to make sure that I pay those as soon as possible so that they'll continue to do business with me. So let's go ahead and, and process a payment run in NAV. And to do that, I'm going to choose my payment journal. And I'm actually going to let NAV make suggestions to me about what I should pay. So I've got my last payment date. So, so I did my last check run on 831. I want to post this on 910 and I'm, I want to pay this through a computer check. And then I can filter again by vendor. I'm just going to click OK and let it fill in my payment journal. And there it is. I'm also going to resort this so we can get our uh, office supply vendor here at the top so that we can talk about that for a second. And I can, I can you know, filter just by right clicking on the cell. I can filter up here as well. But what I want to show you here is we've got a, a check here ready to go for $1,350. I can see the entries that are applied to this just by clicking on that apply vendor entries button. And you can see it's paying based on the criteria that I chose in my selection. It chose what it is recommending that I pay. And I can of course come in and change this if I want to, but these are the, the way it wants to apply that. So it's going to clear out all of those $1,350 in past due invoices for this vendor. I can preview my check if I want. So this is what my check's gonna look like. I can see it's not been printed yet. And I could go ahead and print it. I can't print it out because I don't have a, a printer, but um, I could print this out to a printer and go ahead and feed the check stock through. When I'm done printing, I would post this particular transaction. And at that point, it's going to pull those invoices out of being open it's going to reduce my accounts payable. It's going to hit my bank rack and reduce my cash balance as well. So this concludes the video on Dynamics NAV 2016 accounts payable.